Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys an old classic trick in magic. Now most of you probably have never seen this trick. And I just think it's a good trick. A lot of the old, older tricks are very, very good tricks. Now for this trick we're going to be using a handkerchief. As you can see. And we're also going to be using a deck of cards. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to take the deck out of the box. We're going to give it a couple cuts. We're going to do an overhand shuffle. Mix it up here. So I think the deck is pretty mixed up. So here you would ask someone to pick a card. Let's just go with this card here. I'm going to look away. Hopefully you guys got that. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to take your card. We're going to put it about center of the deck. Okay, and then we're going to mix up the deck even more from there. Give it a couple more cuts. And maybe a couple overhand shuffles here. Alright, so I think it's pretty mixed up. So next, we're going to take the handkerchief here, All right, just like that, and we're going to wrap the deck in the handkerchief, just like that, and watch, if we actually shake the handkerchief, you'll see that a card starts to come out, and well, may take a little while to penetrate through, but as you see, it is coming out slowly. And there we go. And this card is your card. The Six of Spades. And then I can open the handkerchief up and let you inspect both the handkerchief and the cards. Okay, so for this trick, you will just need a deck of cards and one of these, a handkerchief or some kind of thing close to that, alright? And while this trick is impromptu, meaning that as long as you have a deck of cards and one of these, you could do this anytime, anywhere, okay? So basically the cards can be shuffled as much as the spectator wants and then after that they can pick one so let's just say they go with the five of diamonds so next what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to control that card to the top no matter what method you know all right and then after you've controlled it to the top you're gonna do some false cuts, false shuffles, um, and stuff like that. And then after that, here comes the trick move. You're gonna take your handkerchief and you're gonna put it over the cards, okay? And you want the cards to be centered in the handkerchief, all right? And I'll tell you why in a second. But what you're gonna be doing is you're going to be sneaking off the top card while you're in there so that it's already right there squared up with these ones. So here I'm going to show you how that's done. So you have your card controlled to the top of the deck and you do your false cuts, shuffles, that kind of stuff. And then let's say the handkerchief is over. When you go under to reach for the cards, all you're doing is just hitting your thumb, sliding that off, and then taking these out from the handkerchief and putting them on top. And then there will be a handkerchief, and the handkerchief will be in between that. Okay? So if you need practice with that, that's what's going to take a lot of practice. So you put that over, make sure it's centered, because if it's not, if it's right here, and you do the trick move, then it's it's not going to wrap around so you want to center it good okay 
So you're going to take it, center it, and then you're going to peel off the top card, put that on, then square it there. And then you're going to wrap this up over like this. Then you're going to take the sides and pinch them to the back. And then go with your back hand and grab everything just like that. And their card is right there. And what you're going to do is you're just going to start shaking it. You don't want to shake it too hard or the card, when it gets close to the end, it's going to fly away. So you just want to kind of go slowly. Or you can go hard at first, but once it starts to come out, then you go a little slower. Okay? And they'll see that it's coming out. And then um, you might ha want to have your hand under there or have them hold both their hands out for them to catch it. All right? As you see, I did not catch it there. And now I have to pick it up. A great success! Before you turn this around, because you don't want to show that little pocket there, you can just unfold that and then do that and then open it up and then pass it out and they can check it everything out so yeah that is the trick i hope you like it and i'll see you guys in my next video